Hey there, I'm Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner and Nutritional Therapy Practitioner, talking with you today about my top seven favorite antiparasitic herbs. The first step, before you even get to these herbs, you gotta figure out you've actually got parasites. Well, how do you know? Well, some of the free testing could involve looking at your fingernails. If you've got vertical ridges, vertical lines on your fingernails, you may even be able to feel them. Maybe your hair's thinning, your hair's falling out, you've lost the outer third of your eyebrow, which could also indicate thyroid problems. Maybe you've got diarrhea or constipation, or more commonly, you alternate between the two. Every few weeks or even every week, you get about a loose stool and you think it's just something that you ate. No, it could be parasites. So those are the free tests. And then obviously, if you invest into a functional medicine test, you run a stool test on yourself, you can look and find and identify parasites. Once you do that, then you're ready to enter this conversation. Now, berberine is the active component, but that can actually come from organ, grape, or barberry. So if you're looking on a health food store's shelf or you're looking on the internet, you may want to end up looking up organ, grape, or barberry if you have trouble finding just a straight berberine extract. Number two is gonna be black walnut. Now, these are unique in the fact that some of these can actually kill bacteria and yeast and fungus too. So just because they're marketed as anti-parasitic herbs in my conversation, we could use these for other things and I use these hundreds of times a month in my clinic and I have great success with combining these things. Artemisia, this comes from sweet wormwood, so you'll probably see that on the label. Number four is gonna be clove bud and also clove flower. Both parts of the clove, the buds and the flowers, have a natural antimicrobial, antifungal, antiparasitic benefit. Number five, garlic extract. I use a specific one that's called allicin. That's A-L-L-I-C-I-N. And allicin is great for fungus. It's great for parasites. Also great for bacterial infections such as H. pylori. Number six is neem. Always have neem in the protocol if you're killing parasites. It's a really synergistic herb and can really help these other things work better. And then number seven, mimosa pudica. Now there's not too much literature on mimosa. This is a new formula that's come out to the market. It's a plant and this plant is great for acting as a binder, so to speak, to pull things out of the intestines. I have more pictures than I would like to have in my inbox from clients of mine that have started taking this mimosa with my direction and all of a sudden they're pooping out worms. I'm talking one, two, five, even 10 inch worms, no joke, that were not found on a stool test, but they still had them in their body. The mimosa is pulling them out. Now, how would you approach this? Technically, you could run through and you could take this entire list of supplements and you'd be off to a really great head start. But in terms of dosing and timing and how long to do it, and do you need adrenal support? Do you need thyroid support? Do you need liver support, kidney support, digestive enzymes, fish oils, fatty acids, probiotics at the same time? That's something you wanna work with a practitioner on. I'm gonna stay focused on this conversation, which is this is how you're gonna get rid of parasites. So I hope that was helpful. If you would like help, you can click on screen. Be happy to do a phone consult with you. Take care, bye-bye.